in today's class we shall have a look at winner take all networks now these are a part of unsupervised learning and uh, we will be studying certain networks which are classified as winner take all networks now unit 3 is about these winner take all networks and uh, it is to do with competitive learning so it is basically we will be deciding which is the winner node and accordingly trying to you know um, make the weight updates or something like that such that the winner node will win so in this case first there are certain uh, things which we need to see and uh, one thing which i need to brief you all about is what is the meaning of hamming distance so considering two vectors i have just taken two vectors of the length 6 so there are six elements in these vectors so both are bipolar vectors because uh, e either they will contain minus 1 or plus 1 so you can have also 0 and 1 so what is hamming distance now if at all you see here the number of bits which are similar and the number of bits which are dissimilar in these both cases what we can do the first bit is minus 1 sorry not it's not a bit the first element is minus 1 here also it's minus 1 so these are similar second is not similar third is not similar fourth is not similar fifth element again is similar and sixth element is again not similar so the number of similarities are 2 now if at all you see the number of dissimilarities so the rest will be dissimilarities so if at all there are two similarities and the rest will be dissimilarities because the this second element it is one here it is minus one here it is minus one 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 minus one minus one one so they are different so if at all whatever i have shown in green these will be dissimilarities so how many positions are different so what is hamming distance hamming distance between two vectors is defined as a number of places they differ in so here the hamming distance will be 4 in this case the hamming distance is 4 now if at all we take the cross product of these two vectors what do we get if at all I multiply this 1 minus 1 into 1 1 into minus 1 and all of this if at all I take this product of this what I will get is that I will get the answer is minus 2 so in terms of these similarities and dissimilarities what is this minus 2 it is nothing but number of similarities minus the number of dissimilarities so this is what we would be getting in that case so now if at all we go further we shall see what is a hamming network now hamming network is a network which is shown like this and it will be having input layer as well as an output layer so how many inputs will be there I will be telling you and how many output uh, nodes will be there that also I will be telling you. So and there will be some connections between the input layer and the output layer. So all the input nodes are connected to all the output nodes. So I have shown four input nodes. So all these four nodes are connected to all of the output nodes. Now this network will be calculating the hamming distance between the stored vectors and the input vectors. So there are some vectors which will be stored. Now how many vectors will be stored will be determined by the number of neurons in the output layer. So here I have shown 3 that is P is equal to 3 that means 3 vectors will be stored. Now let x of i where i is equal to 1 comma 2 up till p denote the set of the binary stored vectors of dimensionality n dimensionality n meaning there will be n elements in this particular vector there will be n elements which will be there in each of these vectors so how many such vectors will be there there is x1 x2 up till xp so we will be having p vectors so if at all there are p vectors which are to be stored in this particular hamming network then there will be p nodes in the output layer so x1 x2 x3 x4 up till xp 
Now here you can see these elements x11, x12. Now what is xij? xij can either be minus 1 or plus 1. So it is a set of 1, minus 1 and plus 1 where j is equal to 1, to 3 up till n. So j meaning the second element, k is going from 1 to n and i is the first element which is going from 1 to p. So if this weights now uh, x of i x i j is nothing but it can be either minus 1 or plus 1. So uh, supposing this particular vector x1 is say minus 1 uh, if at all it's 1 if at all it is 1 and minus 1. So if at all x1 is made up of this. So if at all x1 is made up of this then what does it mean is that it means that the weight which is given for x1 is here x1 will be corresponding to the first node so the fir from the first input layer the weight is minus 1 from the second input layer the weight is 1 from the third input layer the weight is 1 and from the fourth input layer the weight is again minus 1 so whatever are these patterns which will be there accordingly the weights will be assigned in this particular network so now similarly here if at all it is 1 1 1 1 then I will be denoting with some other color the weights from the first input layer to the second output layer from the second output layer to the second sorry second input layer to the second output layer third input layer to the second output layer fourth input layer to the uh, second output layer so all these weights x2 will be connected to the second output layer similarly x3 will be connected to the third output layer so this will be the network which will be formed so what this network does is that this will be providing the hamming distance between the stored vectors and the input vectors so when i say stored vectors what is the meaning of stored vectors the stored vectors will be stored in the form of the weights that is the connections between the input layer and the output layer now if at all I go into the details now xi transpose is nothing but the patterns which are stored and x is nothing but the pattern which will be fed so the pattern which will be fed will be here at the input x so x will be made up of x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 whatever so here in this case n is equal to 4 so it will be made up of 4 values so what happens is that this is given at the input and there are some patterns which are already stored and if at all it corresponds to if at all this corresponds to you know the pattern stored x1 meaning it is closer to that then this neuron has to fire the first one so it will be this Hamming network tries to check the number of similarities or the number of differences between the input pattern which is given and the stored pattern so now in the previous example I have shown you that xi transpose into x will be nothing but number of similarities minus the number of dissimilarities so that we have shown you with the help of an example but what is the meaning of number of dissimilarities number of dissimilarities is nothing but Hamming distance also what is number of similarities plus dissimilarities now number of similarities minus number of dissimilarities is nothing but xi into x transpose but what is number of similarities plus the number of dissimilarities that will be the total number of elements number of dissimilarities is nothing but Hamming distance so I have taken the short form for Hamming distance is HD now using these both equations now first i said that xi transpose x is equal to n uh, sorry number of similarities minus hamming distance but what is number of similarities i can write number of similarities as n minus hd so this will be number of similarities and this is the hamming distance so if at all i simplify it i'll get n minus 2 times hd so now if at all i want a network which will be generating the hamming distance then what I have to do is that I have to take the Hamming distance on the other side and I get minus of Hamming distance is equal to half xi transpose into x minus n by 2. 
so if at all we write this equation in this the form of this so this is the output w that is a weight and the input x so what will be w if at all i look here w will be nothing but this and what will be theta theta is nothing but bias which is provided at every node that will be minus eta by minus n by 2 so that is the reason every node in the output layer we are providing a bias of minus n by 2 and this is the same bias which is to be applied for every node because of this equation so what is the output be output will be nothing but the negative of the hemming distance and what are the weights these weights are nothing but half of xi transpose so xi transpose is a matrix like this so i can write it like this okay this is not uh, this is uh, for one particular this is wi i can say for one particular uh, row it will be so this weight transpose uh, i will be getting the weight matrix here so if at all i am given the input patterns I have to write it in the form of a row vector by taking x1 transpose, x2 transpose up till xp transpose and I will be getting a weight vector and these weights will be nothing but I have to connect the weights here. So I have to assign the weights here. And what is this? The theta is nothing but minus n by 2 for each and every node in the output layer that I have already told you. Now, please don't forget that the first layer will be having n nodes so n nodes depends upon the length of the vector that is what is the length of the vector and output nodes is nothing but p nodes and p depends upon what how many number of stored patterns are there that will be p so the connection from the jth node input node to the ith output uh, node will be having this particular weight wij this is small wij is equal to xij divided by 2 and the upper level node is associated with the threshold minus n by 2 so once we solve now a problem we will be in a position to get a better understanding of this hamming network now what you all need to know is that what this hamming network does is that it will be producing the negative of the hamming distance and if at all it is producing the negative of the hamming distance then it will try to tell you which is the uh, pattern stored pattern which is closest to the input pattern so you can come to know that next we shall 